I do my best thinking in the shower. I do my praying there as well. And I actually get answers back while I'm in the shower. The hot water is hitting my head. I get my best clear answers. So today's MGTO video, inspired by my shower, is called MGTO and Male Endurance. When I look at the average guy today who is suffering, who lost his wife, his children, and his house, I can see such an endurance in these men, such strength, such courage, tremendous men, warrior men. Then I hear the delusion of females saying that they are more emotional than males are. If this was true, then women would never apply for divorce. They would try to work things out. It is always mostly women that are applying for divorce now. 89% of the applied divorces are by females. That shows you right away that females are not empathetic and do not have any emotion whatsoever. And every emotion they do have is superficial and shallow and bullshit. There is a plague right now going on in the world right now where women are killing off their children left and right and it's seen as normal and okay and a mental disorder. We can clearly see right now that female females are going off the deep end because of their own insanity while males are holding it together while women, women are attacking them. So we have the women right now who are actually destroying their own lives by killing their children, committing suicide, and all these other things right now that are going on in these women's world, drunken, drunken behavior, living with cats, you name it, they're doing it. <laughs> and yet men who have lost everything are still holding it together solid as a rock. Who is the more emotional one there, huh? Men that can take the beating or women that give in to the beating? It's men. Take my own story, for example. The week that I lost my girlfriend, I had a blood infection in my leg. I had to take antibiotics for it, and a giant cyst came out of my leg. Oh, it was nasty, folks. It was huge, purple, black. Just disgusting. <laughs> and the sucker sat on the bottom of my calf, on the back of my leg. The worst spot on a leg, you can have it. It burst, and it created a humongous wound on my leg, and for two years it could not heal. Because for two years I was in post-traumatic stress disorder, thanks to my ex-girlfriend and her deeds. So all in one time, I lose my girlfriend, I lose my future, I lose my everything that I had, I lose my money, I lose everything. And I have to start over. Meanwhile, she left her dog with me. My leg's up in the air on the bed for two years, the dog is jumping all over me, you know, wanting things of his own. Meanwhile, I'm being called a rapist, uh, an abuser, and you name it, all these eight charges I mentioned before, stalking, harassment, locking her up, all these bullshit charges. So, I just lost my girlfriend, I got a hole in my leg, the police are at my house every day, I'm being called a rapist, and I have to also defend myself with a lawyer. So, all these things at once, and I'm still standing like a rock. I'm a little bit shooken, a couple of chips have fallen off of me, pretty much I'm a rock. The endurance of men has no limits whatsoever. The endurance of men is absolutely incredible, and hats off to all men. This is why I love other guys, because they are awesome, they are amazing, they are cool, they are just, they can take a beating and keep on walking. Women could never do that. Women would just fall apart. And yes, I said I love other guys. It does not mean that I'm a gay or anything like that. I'm a totally straight guy. It's just that I love guys for that, because they have a great spirit inside of them. Never surrender, never give up, never quit. Just that spirit alone is more than the average female can produce in an emotion. Most females use emotion as a tool, as a weapon. Cry some wet and get what she wants. They don't even know how to use emotion right. They're that pathetic. They really are. Back to guys. <laughs> Back to the male endurance. So I went through all of this shit and I came out stronger. I noticed men too who lost their families, who lost their kids, who have nothing left to live for, come back, bounce back ten times stronger than they were before. I'd like to see a woman do that. Any woman out there. Lose everything, have somebody rob you of everything, and then start all over again and be successful again. The male spirit knows no ends, it knows no bounds, and knows nothing but what it wants. The male's 
endurance just are off the chart, folks. You cannot even bend it or break it or change it or will it. Try to change a man. Try to will a man. You can't do it. Men are like rocks. <laughs> They're so much like rocks that even females said, okay, you want to be rocks? We'll be really wussbags. We'll be pussies. We'll be weak. We'll be, we'll be dramatic, emotional, empathetic. And men are like, okay, fine. I can still take care of you. I can still carry you. But now women are like, we don't need men. I mean, come on, really? After you use men for 6,000 years to get what you want, now you don't need us anymore? After we created your utopia, now you don't need us anymore? Well, screw you. Men are the most stable rocks out there. Men can endure so much shit and never give up. Women, most, a lot of women want to give up during childbirth. They go, uh, I'll, give me a C-section. They give up on that. An average man's life is like childbirth almost every day. Sure, it's not the exact same kind of pain, but there is that much suffering. It goes unnoticed. Behind every solid rock of a man, there is a, a river of emotion and badness and ache and pains. Stuff women could never even dream about. Because the most painful thing a woman can ever go through is childbirth. They don't understand what men go through at all. They have no empathy for men. But <laughs> this shows you. They have no empathy for men. That shows you right there that they think that men are just incapable of love and incapable of feelings. They are the ones that are incapable of everything. Men are the ones that are capable of everything. They destroy, we build. We love, they hate. Look at your average divorce. Man loves woman, man marries woman, man sacrifices everything to woman, woman gets rid of man, woman has new man, woman has children with the new man, takes the old children with her. There's no emotion there whatsoever. Do you see how that works? It's just terrible. Anyway, this is Word on Fire for this video of Mill. Oh, I'm a little bit tired, sorry guys. It's a video about male endurance, I know. And it sounds kind of silly yawning at the same time when I talk about male endurance, but I'm talking about different endurance. This is mental endurance and physical endurance is different from mental endurance. Men can take a lot of pot shots in life and survive. Women cannot. Women cry and they need six months of therapy when you call them fat. Pathetic, stupid beings. This is Word on Fire. See you all later. Have a good day. Bye.